This illusion is called Fortune Zero Flow. It pulls from my infatuation with holes, as well as zeros, and their versatility, the positive and the negative connotation of them, the beginning and the end, infinity, synchronicity, and time, as always, time. I meant to paint this yesterday, but I didn't, partly because my head hurt and I wanted to end my painting session on a high note, but I also wanted to start reading From Here to Eternity, Traveling the World to Find Good Death, partly more than halfway through it, so it's enlightening, awe-inspiring, and touching with the sense of ceremony around death and dying. She, Caitlin of Ask a Mortician, uses the word death care a lot, and I just love it. I really wish I had bought it sooner. Anyway, about this painting, I like the concept sketch. The one I chose was actually one of two in the same sort of pose, but the limbs were better arranged. Although, I think I could have benefited from drafting a third concept sketch to better flush out the body. I drafted this concept sketch while I was watching Nope. And I also ended up filling five pages of my sketchbook rather mindlessly during that time. You'll see here in the overlaying of the hands, I lose them in the underpainting, which I sort of anticipated. My effort to preserve them was futile. You'll still get that the hands are there, but the fingers, and you know I love a good finger, a spidery, sharp finger. They're, they're not as well rendered as I would prefer them to be. The figure is adrift, yet sinking as it spirals into nothing. The curve of the body softens the feeling of the void the figure faces. The legs wrap, the torso appearing boneless. One arm falls limp, while the other is raised in consolation. A few questions come to mind, like, why is the figure drawn to this void? Why is the figure warped? In this spiral pattern, is this void composed of the body itself, and this is all the figure knows? It is seeking out its shrouded origins? Thoughts of a Mars in 12th house and Sun in 9th house. How else could one face the void, you know? Just things I wonder. The painting process was a challenge towards the end because my blood sugar got really low, so my body was really revolting against me. It happens often, but I really think it affected the steadiness of my hands, and I had to take a little break to eat something. I thought I could fight through it, but my blood sugar was 52, so I wasn't going to win, and I was starting to feel really nauseous. Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.